Hello, Crossville First. It's Drew here on Wednesday morning about 9.45. Glad to uh, share with you a little midweek uh, moment. I was listening to a news story the uh, day before yesterday, I think, and, and they, they said children laugh on average 150 times a day. 150 times a day children laugh. And we adults, we, uh, we laugh six times a day. And so I thought, my goodness, that's a, that's a problem. And the research was showing that, yes, it is a problem, that laughter, laughter helps so much with, with a sense of peace and life and joy in our lives. And so I'm, I'm going to pray for you that you find time and space today to have a good laugh because laughter truly does warm our hearts. And for we who follow Jesus, I think laughter helps our souls connect with the joy of God that we know in Jesus Christ. Our faith is a wonderfully beautiful thing that is so serious and real and life-changing and so important and significant, but our faith is also fun. It's full of joy. It's full of life. The Holy Spirit brings that into our lives, and I, I hope, I just hope you'll find a, a place and a way to experience that uh, today. May God bless you with that. And may it be a blessing that happens every day and not just every once in a while. So anyway, I just was thinking about this morning, about that this morning as, uh, as I was uh, reflecting on that news story. We've got a busy weekend ahead of us here at the, we've got a busy weekend ahead of us here at the church. Uh, we do have the United Methodist Women's Craft Fair on Saturday from 9 to 4. And the Taste of Chocolate uh, fundraiser for our after school program, that is... I believe from 12 to 4, yes, from 12 to 4 over in the Family Life Center. So I hope you can join us at some point up here at the church on Saturday. You might find a great gift for a loved one for Christmas or some good chocolate to eat. And as we said Sunday, that chocolate can be your lunch. So we look forward to that. And then, of course, Sunday morning is a Stewardship Sunday. We'll be bringing our, our 2017 Compassion and Hope cards down to the front. Remember, it's not, a, it's not a contract or anything like that. It's just a truly an estimate of what you feel like you'll be able to give in support uh, of our ministry investment plan for 2017. If you have questions about that, call the church office, call me, email us, and uh, we'll, get, we'll get answers to you right away. I hope, though, that all of you have received the the packet in the mail that includes that 2017 ministry investment plan and the compassion and hope in action card that uh, we enclosed with it. So Sunday morning will be a day of great celebration at both 8.30 and 10.45 worship services. We are looking forward to it. Know that we hold you in our prayers. We love you very much and I am so thankful for who you are and for how you follow Jesus in ways that really make a difference in our world. Have a great rest of the week. We'll see some of you up here tonight for Wednesday Night Live, and we'll see the rest of you on Saturday and Sunday. Talk to you soon.